okay so de, today we are going to talk about uh, log files so log log files very important yeah. so um, our troubleshooting part starts from uh, log file analysis only okay so we are going to talk about that so do you have any idea about logs what is what is that mean Ram, I will just rejoin because your voice is breaking. Okay, okay. So we are going to talk about uh, a topic called logs, log files. Okay. You are able to see okay. my screen? You both. Hello. Hello. Yeah, yeah. We are able to see. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Then bye. So uh, we are going to <clears throat> talk about the log files. So what is meant by log file? So log file in the sense, it is a text file. Okay, it is a normal text file. So which will record all activities of the server. So I'm going to write for this definition. So it is a log is a text file which which can record all activities all okay so all activities of server second to second every second okay So every second, uh, the log file is going to write uh, the information about the server. Okay, so it is a just normal text file. So uh, whenever you wanted to check, so uh, uh, any issue you are facing, so first you have to verify the log file only because so there there is no other option. So whether you are getting whatever the errors so while trying to start the server or deploying the application. Or configuring the JDBC or JMS or <clears throat> uh, creating the cluster, right? So whatever the activities we are doing, so everything can be recorded in the log file itself, okay? And the server continuously runs in, in the server. I mean, uh, the server we will not shut down the servers in production environment. So not even uh, test and dev also. Servers will run continuously. So so whenever the server is running so the log file also will be updating okay so whenever you stop the server the log file also stop writing the information so that means whatever the activities the server is doing what anything so it can be anything anything can be related to server can be updated so it can be recorded in the file called log okay so here in websphere we do have different servers okay so all servers having same set of log files suppose i have deployment manager server right so i have node agent and i have application server and i have admin agent admin agent server and I have job manager server. So these are all the servers available in WebSphere. So all the servers are having same set of log files. Okay. So we'll see what what kind of log files. Um, I mean, what are the log files are important. So if anyone anytime reported an issue or you found some issue, uh, if anything <clears throat> is not working, first we have to check the log file only. Okay, this is first step of troubleshooting. So how do you verify that? So log files can be stored in a specified path. So I'll show you that. So just go to the Linux machine. Okay, so I wanted to see the deployment manager server log file. So what I'll do is, so I'll go to the OPT IBM and WebSphere, go to profiles and deployment manager profile. 
so come to this path so i am in profile home right so in this profile home there you can see a folder called logs a folder called logs just go to that logs folder um, yeah, um, you can see a screen. You can see a screen. It is already sharing the uh, Unix blocks. Uh, I'm already sharing. You are able to see now? I can see only the only the login page. No, only login nineteen. Uh, I can see the time nineteen forty six, Tuesday October ten. You can see the <clears throat> after you login. Now. No. <coughs> Lakshmi, yeah, can you see that? Lakshmi, can you see my screen? No, I can see that the password you have entered. I think uh, your internet, some inter interruption is happening from your side. Just try to log in again. Try to join. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, I will just log in. Uh, Lakshmi, are you there? Hello. Tom, your voice is breaking. You are able to see my screen? Are you seeing my screen? Enable, uh, now I, am, I can able to see. Now I can able to see the login screen. Okay, okay, fine. So we are in a log directory. So this is the directory we, went, we came here. So to check the log file, so the deployment manager profile log files can be stored in this path so go to that path and here you can see some set of files then uh, you have to verify deployment manager server log so just go to that dmgr folder so there you can see the list of log files here so these are all the set of log files okay so all these files are related to deployment manager server only so we will discuss one by one so what is the set of log files here okay so the first one is deployment manager dmgr.pid so deployment manager pid is it can store the process id process id of dmgr server okay so it is available when the server only when when the server is up and running so this file can be visible only when the server is running suppose if you shut down the server the file can be removed from this location so we have to remember that okay so that is called pid dot p uh, deployment manager dmgr dmgr dot pid so it can store the process id of deployment manager server and this file can be visible only when the server is up and running okay so that is first file and the next important file is server start ser start server dot log so start server dot log file contains it can store server startup information server startup information and the same way stop server dot log it can store stop server information
shut down information okay and the next important log file is system out dot log okay this is actual log okay so this is complete server log so it can store the complete server activities server activities okay so these are all the four log files are important and another log file is server uh, system error dot log so it can store uh, the information like uh, it can store the uh, operating system information okay so these are all the log files available for deployment manager so the same set of log files we can see for other servers also for node agent and application server admin agent right and job manager for these servers also the same set of files so here